in this video I am going to discuss what how to install C Lion in Ubuntu 20.04 operating system. So first we need to or uh, uh, use the sudo apt kit update. So this is for update and we need to uh, use here install build essential. After that we should use sudo apt install G++. Here after let's uh, Or use terminal and uh, at this place I'm going to uh, write some commands so right here sudo apt minus gate update so doing the update give the password and uh, it's uh, start doing the update from uh, this site ubuntu.com and here reading the package list so update part that have completed and here after uh, we need to install this sudo apt git install and uh, build essential copy and paste there press enter and here this required 143 MB additional disk space right by press enter and this is the all detail here after operation here it's uh, or downloading the file with uh, this speed 1185 KB now here you can see after or uh, doing so many process or uh, the command of uh, sudo apt install build essential that completed and uh, when that completed here after we need to uh, we need to use another command sudo apt install g++ so let's uh, copy this one and uh, here so once again copy and paste there now press enter so here G++ it's uh, already the newest version and uh, here if I write G++ minus minus version so here you get this tail so uh, this is 9.3 the version so let's uh, uh, go add here in Google search box write C lion and uh, you can see this is the brief for uh, description about the C Lion. So it's a cross platform ID for Linux, OX, Win OS, X, Windows operating system. So here a cross platform ID for C and C++ by JetBrain. So you need to click this JetBrain.com site. And uh, after clicking this site, uh, here you get uh, C Lion. So get free C line or uh, 30 days trial. So by clicking this, you can easily or uh, download the file. So thank you for downloading. Now our uh, download will start. So here the file size 486 MB. So here I already downloaded, so I'm not going to download. Here you can see the file is already C line in my uh, system now here after uh, let's uh, extract the file so go to download and here you can see C line file is there right click on it and click on extract here now uh, this is here you can see this is the progress of extraction and uh, it's a uh, only take uh, 30 second time extraction of the line or uh, 2020 it's uh, done here now what we need to do double click on this so uh, file and here C line now we need to go uh, bin and here you can see C line sh file so uh, click this here open in terminal
now uh, here this is the path uh, home downward sea line uh, and the sea lines here been now if i write uh, ls so this uh, display list of files so there i'm going to open the file name c line dot sh so dot backward slash here c line dot sh now press enter so here open zdk 64 vm warning option let's minimize this and at this place click on i confirm click on continue here don't send and uh, this is cline 2020.1 it's so uh, opening now you can select uh, dracula option so this is for black uh, editor and uh, this is here light now click on default plugins if you want then you can enable customize this all it's all are optional click on feature plugin so this is here by using c line you can try to run shift programming lua language this all and rust also now click on next and here create desktop entry I start using c line so c line opening now this I am going to use free so evaluate free click on evaluate button now add here you can see configure toolchain so here this is default and bundle version 3.16.5 automatic create taken and make detected C compiler detected C++ detected debugger also detected if you want then you can uh, change this so let's click on uh, start using c lion here new project and uh, c++ executable so let's give the project name test now click on create and this is the console of uh, c lion so this i'm using first time so here it's a loading component here you can see tip of the day so let's click on close and here this is the hello world program loading three processor running here test project come there and uh, two process so it's running and it has include iostream.h hello world program now we next uh, thing uh, to do here click on run and uh, here so this part is uh, on ever right now now let's click on run and uh, uh, click uh, test so here building one more process and here 50% uh, build test target so it's uh, finished without any problem and here you get hello world like this so uh, you can write any kind of program inside uh, here so let's do modification hello world how are you now here control as to save so you can uh, go at the file tab now here you can see save all now right click here click on run test so here building target test and here hello world how are you it's a displaying like this you can write any c++ program here inside uh, c line so this is the way we can install c line in ubuntu so i hope guys 
this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you